Welcome to the Curiosity Workshop. Today we're going to go over installation of the X-Plane Direct plugin and library for the Arduino. X-Plane Direct can be downloaded from my Patreon page, patreon.com slash curiosityworkshop. We're also working on a GitHub repository for the software. When that's available, we'll let you know on, on our YouTube channel. For now, you can go to patreon.com slash curiosityworkshop. Patreon does not allow me to pin posts for non-patrons. If you're a patron, it should be at the top. If you're not a patron, just scroll on down to the Xplain Direct Arduino interface. You'll need two files here, XPL Direct Arduino, which is the libraries for the Arduino IDE. The other file that you need is the XPL Direct plugin.zip. This is the plugin for Xplain. After you download, you should have both the XPL Direct plugin.zip and the XPL Direct Arduino.zip in your downloads. Open the XPL Direct plugin zip file. There's a folder inside called XPL Direct. We're going to copy that. You'll need to know where your Xplane installation is. On mine, it's off the C drive, Xplane 11. You'll also need to go to Resources, Plugins and then you can just copy the XPL direct file here. You can see I already have mine here. And then it should be good to go. The other file is the Arduino libraries for your Arduino IDE. Go ahead and open that. Copy the XPL direct folder. Copy it to wherever your Arduino sketchbook files are. You should have a libraries folder, and then just copy it right into, into there. And you can see I already have mine there. To confirm proper installation of the X-Plane plugin, go ahead and launch your X-Plane. In the plugins, you should see XPL Direct. In the status, there should be a screen. If you have X-Plane Direct devices attached, you should see them here. In this case, I have one device, the X-Plane Access Demo. It has registered four data refs and zero commands. It also gives you some other information about the plugin. Also on the XPL Direct plugin tab, there's you can disengage your devices if you need to change them, add a new one, or work on them. So I can disengage, you'll see that there'll be now zero devices attached. When I re-engage, it will scan the serial ports for X-Plane Direct devices, register all the data refs that they request, and then you should see them here. Now I have my device back with four data refs registered and zero commands. To confirm that the X-Plane Direct library for Arduino is installed properly, you can launch one of the sample sketches that, that are available on the, on the Patreon page. In this case, I have the XPL Access demo loaded. I have a, an Adafruit Circuit Playground Express attached here, which this sketch I know works with. You can make sure in the Include Libraries, you should see my library in the Contributed Libraries XPL Direct. I should be able to compile. Now you can see that it uploaded the file just fine into the Circuit Playground Express. When we launch Xplane, it should see it just fine. Many PC applications rely upon the Visual Studio redistributables for the Visual Studio, and it's likely installed already on your PC. The Xplane plugin for Windows also relies upon these redistributables. If you don't have these installed, Xplane will not be able to launch my plugin. The redistributables are downloadable for free at the Microsoft website. You want the X64 version. Just download it, execute it, run it. And that should solve your problem if you have this problem. Another good thing to know, every time you launch Xplane in the root directory of your Xplane installation, Xplane will create a log.txt file. In the log file that Xplane creates, you can see a log of what hardware does Xplane detect. Down further in the log file, you can see where it's loading plugins. In, in this case, you can see my plugin was loaded. 
XPL Direct. If it had difficulty loading this plugin, you would see the error log here. My plugin also creates an error log. It's the XPL Direct error.log. This tells you which devices it found. It also tells you which data refs those devices requested and also commands. It tells you if there's any trouble finding those data refs. It also gives some other information about the plugin as it runs. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thank you for your interest in X-Plane Direct and watching our video. I'll see you in the next one.